Hello, Workforce Board members and stakeholders. I'm Eric Wolf, Director of Policy and Programs of the Workforce Board. This presentation is a summary of the responses we received from last month's system-wide stakeholder survey on TAP priorities, implementation barriers, and emerging stakeholder needs. The results of this survey and the comments received should help board members identify specific implementation barriers that staff can provide additional information on at the board retreat, with an eye towards creating a board advocacy agenda for the coming year. A little bit of background on the survey, uh, we released the survey in June 2018. 143 individual respondents, which is a great response rate for us. Historically, we've received roughly half that number of individual responses, um, really reflecting the fact that we, we intentionally expanded our outreach to new stakeholders this year. On average, stakeholders took 10 minutes to complete a survey. Uh, relatively economical on their time. In spite of that, we got some incredibly thoughtful written feedback, which we'll be sharing with you in the course of this presentation. Finally, uh, we're also really excited that the survey this year was both mobile and tablet friendly, and we think that really contributed to the high response rate. Uh, we do want to give you a little bit of an idea of who took the survey as well. Uh, actually voluntarily disclosing one's organizational affiliation was totally voluntary in the survey. Uh, but we did get that voluntary disclosure from 80 of the 143 respondents. So we have a pretty decent snapshot of the different cross sections of the workforce community that responded, um, which you can see here. So we're gonna jump into uh, how respondents ranked different strategic priorities in TAP and the goals underneath those strategic priorities. We asked respondents to essentially rank which priorities and goals needed to be the areas of most focus for the board in the coming year. Um, starting with looking at the four different strategic priorities of TAP, business engagement, addressing barriers and accessibility, uh, next generation performance accountability, and integrating service delivery. We found that business engagement, barriers and accessibility, and integrated service delivery all remain pretty strong priorities. Performance accountabilities drop slightly behind uh, but the others are really neck and neck in terms of where people would like to see the board emphasize. So we'll do a deep dive on each of the strategic priorities and the goals within before we talk about all of the goals uh, tested amongst each other. Uh, we'll start here with integrated service delivery. Um, just to let you know, if you look at the bar graph, the goals that receive a higher number score above each bar graph are those that received the most interest in in terms of areas of emphasis for the next year. Uh, for integrated service delivery, common intake really did emerge as the main uh, goal within the plan that the community would like to see the board really focus on in the next year. In fact, roughly 50% of all respondents to this question ranked common intake as the number one priority for integrated service. We did get great written feedback though as well, um, which brought up some issues that, that weren't explicitly stated in goals, but we do want to surface for the board to think about as they, they put together their advocacy agenda. Um, uh, we received several respondent comments that they really appreciated the board's focus on making this a, a partnership system instead of just living with cohabitating in a brick and mortar environment. Constantly we got comments from respondents that they like more support and training on how to blend and braid funding resources for participants. Um, that really does go to, to an ongoing need for professional development and certainly a hunger that we saw in many of the responses. Uh, in particular, respondents indicated that some sort of geographically uh, collected catalog of services that would allow them to navigate things across the state for participants might be very useful. In addition, regional coordination uh, is considered still extremely important and uh, ensuring that we aren't having duplicative touch of different businesses, uh, um, limiting our collective impact. Marketing was a theme that consistently came up in this category, both marketing to job seekers but also to businesses, the fact that we could benefit from a coordinated marketing program. Reflecting the fact that there's definitely an increase in interest in career-connected learning and working with the secondary education um, elements of our community, uh, there was a lot of feedback about the fact that the four-year degree is not necessarily the preferred pathway to economic security today and, and therefore uh, the refocus away from four-year degrees and towards a broader workforce development perspective has been very appreciated. 
But finally, and, and this is again highlighting the fact that common intake was considered the number one priority in integrated service delivery, there is a great need and hunger for a streamlined intake process at the ground level. Moving on to business engagement as one of the key strategic priorities under TAP, our respondents identified increasing resources for work-based learning opportunities as the number one area of priority desired in the coming year. In fact, 63% of all uh, respondents ranked that explicitly as number one among these four levels. What other priorities under business engagement need to be surfaced for the board? Um, really figuring out a way to proactively and, and productively work with our state's business associations, including Association of Washington Business, Business Roundtable, et cetera, in a more coordinated manner came up. Uh, as did connecting business uh, engagement with mentorship and leveraging uh, our ongoing uh, relationship building with employers across the state to also build mentorship opportunities for participants. It was suggested that we might create a statewide list of employers that our system already has uh, an ongoing partnership relationship with uh, so that cold calls aren't being made to employers necessarily. Uh, and again, marketing came up, but specifically marketing designed to engage business clientele. On to the third priority uh, uh, under TAP, uh, which is addressing barriers and accessibility within the workforce system. Uh, our local respondents identified uh, encouraging local pilot programs that use technology as a way to address barriers is the number one priority. Although the others aren't too far behind it, and to refresh your memory, that's establishing a state and local level um, advisory system to identify barrier issues. And secondly, to implement secure wireless internet access at public uh, one stops uh, or work source centers across the state, which has already been accomplished. Some of the barrier and accessibility priorities that did emerge in our survey uh, include a, a, a widely held desire that frontline staff receive more cultural competency training, specifically to work with customers with disabilities. But what we did see is that this, this desire for training cuts across not just working with, with clients with disabilities, but really um, anybody from a different life experience, mindset, community, vulnerable population. Um, professional development on, on really the, the actual soft touch of working with clientele is, is very much desired. Uh, there was also highlighted a need to convert more online program content uh, so that it is readable for those who are blind or low vision as we move most of our resources onto cyberspace. And finally, uh, it was noted that we could do a better job at the state level of tracking and sharing enrollment figures for the different focus populations in WIOA. Some of those are, are new for us and we have not exactly uh, tracked those particular population slices before. Two of our implementation committees have co-invested on a project to establish these figures for the 14 focus populations. So we believe we'll be bearing fruit in this in the next six months or so. Moving on to the fourth area of strategic priority under TAP, performance accountability. It had two sub goals, one related to creating a new a performance accountability system that better uh, showed the snapshot of how our programs are performing. And secondly, uh, to create and streamline data sharing so that we can proactively share data with one another uh, and make better decisions from that. Our respondents held those goals to be pretty much co-equal. As you can see, data sharing ever so slightly edged out, uh, creating a new and more accessible performance accountability system, but they were both held to be uh, co-equally important priorities. Some of the feedback we received regarding the performance accountability priorities included uh, a reminder that the board use human impact stories in addition to quantitative data to tell the story of impact of our system. Uh, there was a lot of frustration and feedback from the ground uh, over the employment and training outcomes system, which is currently under redesign. That's their data collection, data management system uh, on the ground. Right now, ESD is hard at work at redesigning and relaunching that, so we expect to see that improve soon. There was an idea that we might create a unique identifier at the state level for job seekers so we could track return on investment at the individual level. And also a reminder of the fact that a lot of the impact from our system um, happens beyond just the programs that we collect data from, so we should be thinking as broadly as possible when we put together our message of the benefits to businesses. So moving beyond the four strategic priority buckets now, 
Um, we combined all of the goals under those four strategic priorities into one question and asked respondents to rate how um, strongly they felt each of the goals should be prioritized. So this takes it beyond the realm of the four strategic priorities and really pits each of the individual goals against one another to give us a flavor of where the community thinks the board should be going in the upcoming year. Our top three answers were career connected learning, a huge emerging priority, lots of community interest there. Common intake emerged as a strong area of emphasis uh, desired from the stakeholders. And then third, continuing our work uh, as a board to build uh, and support defined career pathways for participants. We did get some low priority answers as well. Uh, from the community, uh, almost 40% ranked creating that performance accountability dashboard as uh, one of their bottom three priorities for the next th uh, year. Uh, and then uh, we had strong response from 45% that uh, MOUs and IFA is a continued focus from the board level, the state board level on that process uh, was less desired than other priorities. So we wanted to give folks a chance to also air out anything we, we may have missed uh, for the benefit of the board. So. Um, uh, we did have some other additional issues surface, uh, in including the fact that uh, our local counterparts really do appreciate realistic time ex uh, timeline expectations and have appreciated the State Workforce Board's willing to, to connect with locals uh, and have a discussion about what is reasonable given timelines. Another great comment that we got was that uh, we should think about how we can align TAP and, and the work that is going on under TAP with the governor's broader opioid response plan. Also that the board should continue their work focusing on and championing registered apprenticeship, which has received a, an immense amount of attention as a result of career connected learning initiatives in the state over the last few years. It continues to really be a, a widely admired model in Washington. Uh, and finally, and, and this came up time and again, also throughout the four strategic priorities, the two greatest barriers for job seekers uh, to finding a stable job really come down to transportation and childcare. Ultimately, these are the two greatest barriers for employers in, in keeping talent uh, in jobs as well. Uh, so without addressing these two major barriers, it would be very difficult to move forward on some of the other uh, pressing issues in our system. So to end on a, a high note or a, an optimistic note here, we also asked folks to tell us what their ideal workforce system looks like. And, and here are some of our responses. Uh, a dual customer model, um, providing a wide range of services to business and job seekers. Seamless common intake came up. Uh, a system that, that allows us to use data to proactively identify hotspots and economic issues that we can respond to as a system. And finally, um, also the concept that customers would be connected to whatever they're looking for without really realizing that there's a process behind the scenes going on to support. So we'll conclude here. Uh, the results of the survey are available to you in your brown folder for the board meeting. If you have any other questions, please feel free to email me or we can talk about it at the July 11th meeting uh, in preparation for your board retreat come August.